Um, Hello. Hey, are you Paul? I am Paul. Nice yeah, to I know. I've known your dad over 20 years. Lots of people have known my dad. He took yes. my picture when I went to Fotique. I was getting a photograph from my mom for birthday one year, and he took my picture. <laughs> that happens. Yeah, there are a lot of his pictures hanging okay. on walls in Del Mar. That's Joel. An earnest middle-aged man with a straggly beard whose face, like so many in Delnor County, was once immortalized by my father, the town photographer, for 30 years. Joel is one of several people assembled in the conference room this morning, most of whom watch me closely, maybe even a little suspiciously, as I patter and make conversation with the digital recorder in my hand. I'm here this morning in a nondescript building just off the highway behind a gas station on the edge of town at the invitation of Gloria Crow Boberts. Gloria is a mental health specialist. She's worked for the county for 19 years, providing mental health resources to those who need them most. What is the name of this location? Where are we? This location is called the Service Center. Okay. Okay, and, so, and, and the goal of this location, what's different from this, uh, with this location, than what's going on? This downtown? is, um, it's not as clinical as per se K Street. You have more interaction with the clients. They're free to, this is their center. They can, you know, they have their games, they can do their art, they can have, they have access to the clinical staff to talk at any time. Um, and it's supposed to be new and invent, you know, m m different ways of, of doing groups and, and, and therapy as mm -hmm. such, um, so, you know, going on the field trips, um, being mentally ill is, you know, it's hard for them to get out and, and feel like they're safe. So they go out with us, um, staff, and we take them to, to different places that they otherwise would not go to, such as Dairy Queen, such as, you know, we took a field trip down to Arcata and went to Mazzotti's and, I know. Yeah, nice. And, um, <laughs> you know, they were able to experience going out and doing dining and stuff. And, and that wouldn't have happened, mm -hmm. you know. So it's, it's different ways of helping them cope with their insecurities, getting, getting them out so that, that there is, they're not isolating. And, you know, we're, they're, this is their safe zone. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the reason it's located where it's at because we are not on the beaten path. So. And while most of us shimmy back and forth in a narrow, though functional, band on the mental health spectrum, the people who access the service center face different challenges. Many of them have experienced trauma beyond description. Some have suffered physical injuries that impacted their mental state. Most have struggled for years on the margins of society. So, I mean, who, who wants to talk about, about what happens here and, and what you get from Back it? in the conference room, the ice is melting. Tuesdays mornings we have our life skills group at 9 o'clock and we were supposed to go until 10.30 but lately we've been having short groups. And Thursday stress management. They have three IDDT groups during the week but I'm only required to go to two of them. I was going Monday and Wednesday and then I graduated to the advanced rehab prevention. I go Thursdays now instead of Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And what's, what sort of skills, what sort of, what sort of resources do you have here? What do you, life what do you learn? Life skills. Life skills like what? Like communicating with people, life skills, like taking care of yourself yeah. and do what you're supposed to do in life. Mm -hmm. It keeps, mm -hmm. us, keeps us from isolating. That's yeah. important, isn't it? That's yeah. coping from skills. Isolation. What sorts of coping skills do you have? I like to use the rubber band for unwanted thoughts and voices. Ah, okay, so to yeah. remind yourself and give yourself a little yeah. snap like that? That's yeah. awesome. So how often do you do you come in? We come in about every day. Every day, really? It's, it's a it's weekend. And on holidays. Holiday. Mm -hmm. holiday. Gloria, how does somebody become a part of this group? What you do is... If Gloria explains the process, beginning with an assessment at the main mental, mental health office on K Street downtown. Once a part of the service center groups, the clients get access to a number of classes and programs, ranging from life skills classes to group enrichment activities, things like field trips around the community. Gloria even brings her two dogs, Cash and Kane, as service dogs for the clients to interact with. Beautiful dog, Cash and Kane. No, he comes in here and, and um, just goes and visits folks and, you know. That's wonderful, that's wonderful. He, he actually doesn't take Aaliyah's haw. He's a real... Hello, Aaliyah. I've been here, I think, a couple of months or a year or something. Aaliyah is a small, smiling woman who could be just about any age. She explains the role Ha, her threadbare stuffed animal, plays in her life. Yeah, who is that? Who is that you have with you? 
Hi, my name's Hoff. I'm Aaliyah's um, nightmare um, helper. I have bad nightmares. Uh -huh. I, I came here because I had a bad guy who's telling me to do bad things. Ooh. Yeah, so that's why I'm here for. Mm -hmm. really. They come, so. they come here all the yeah. time. And, and how helps you with that? Oh, yeah. That's every cool. night. Every night. If she feels down, I have to get her back in the groove. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's really wonderful that you've got oh. a friend like that. So I'm interested in knowing the, the kinds of the kinds of groups and class that you, classes you partake in. Your own person, you talked about it keeps, it keeps you from isolating and, and you talked about specific uh, uh, coping mechanisms. What else have you learned? What other encounters do you get out of, out of these groups that help you personally? Keeping with... track of my symptoms. So mm -hmm. That's one thing I do. So how does that work for you? Uh, every night uh, I just mark down, you know, how the voices were, how my depression is. That's level, Shane McCullough, a thin, dark-haired young man who has sat quietly at the back of the room until now. He explains how the service center helps him address his visual and auditory hallucinations stemming from past traumas, including a traumatic brain injury when he was 19. Summers, he says, are the worst, a season of triggers and flashbacks. He works with a therapist at the center on mindfulness and managing his symptoms. When he was younger, He'd wanted to be a musician, a rapper. But after his brain injury, Shane tells me, he didn't even know who he was, let alone what his life's plans had been. Music has helped him come back, and the service center provides something every musician can appreciate. Oh my gosh. An audience. Album project. You want to play something for us? Yeah. You recorded this too? I wrote it, recorded it myself. Wow. Yeah, I write all my songs. This, the, these three albums are the first ones I didn't make the beats for. Usually I make my own beats. Mm -hmm. You just try to have I have the record, you know. You just, you just get some of these arguments. You're gonna be blown you away. <laughs> yeah. The ocean spins, the rivers and the redwoods feel glad. Another peaceful day, our sun fades. Away the end of today, watching stars array. The waters flow, see nature grow. The sun feeds the land. We go hand in hand, living off the lands, creatures and man, vegetation. Sim. Sí. 
sun is where we belong let's all sing along to this glorious song the winds blow grass grows winds die down earth spins around air surrounds hunting ground That is so very peaceful. That yeah. was that was wonderful. Talk to me about that song. What was it called again? Glorious song. Glorious song. Yeah, that yeah. makes perfect sense. It's yeah. just about everyone being peaceful, coming together. You know, <laughs> as one, as humans. You know, and that way we can evolve and be able to go on into the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, because right now there's a lot of not good stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. So is that, I mean, was that your inspiration for that song then? Is to kind of counter that negative energy that's everywhere? Yeah, yeah I, I want to help bring people together in this world. You know, you that's kind of what I want to do. You can yeah. probably help oh, yeah. get to sleep too. Yeah. So, yeah, right? That's really relaxing. That was really cool. That's okay. So I, just to decide, I want to ask, I want to talk to you ladies about this, to, about the music and all, but I've recorded my own music and things. How'd you do that? Just process. What's your, what's your technical? aspect of this uh i have my my friend makes the beats okay i just take them home i pick them out which ones i want to write to uh -huh. I, I write them when i'm ready i go over there and i record and the next weekend i go over there and we burn what we did the weekend before mm -hmm. and my process is I, I i need to record it first and when i listen to it a bunch of times it helps me memorize it better than just reading it yeah and so i do that and then once I get it down better, then I go in and record it for the, the real mm -hmm. session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So the the music itself is that is that like composed on a keyboard or Garage Band? Garage. Okay. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Garage yeah. Band. Garage yeah. I'm actually working with the M MPK Mini MK3 right now. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so you you play the instrument and sing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know play instruments. I can play them on the keyboard. Right. Though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That opens. So let me ask, let me ask the uh, the audience here listening after listening, and that was a, a glorious song. Yes. That's, so, uh, the, what do you guys think about the song or and about Shane's music? It's great. Mm -hmm. You even see you smile. Yeah. I yeah. Really it's a good song. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, he he has a quavered mind. Mm -hmm. in my, it's mine. Use his imagination to make different music. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got the What's that? He's got empathy. That's important. That's important. What do you? What's the role of empathy? How do you think empathy helps? Because it means you can uh, care what others like or dislike. Yeah. So uh, you have other music you like? Yeah. To play? Okay. This okay. one is out the way. Move out the way. Look out the way. Get out the way. Scoot out the way. Move out the way. I'm coming through, look out the way I'm coming through, get out the way I'm coming through, scoot out the way I'm coming through Scarred memories lingering within Reminiscing in a whirlwind No coincidence, that's when I give in It's entirely impossible for me to win Completely isolated is how I maintain Learning how to program my brain A shell of a man pursuing his way That's the reason I'm here today Will I ever succeed? Find my way? Something I heard most adults say Voices overwhelm me, I was so scared No one to relate with, too much pain to care How did I make it? How did I survive? Completely traumatized by grade 5 How do I manage? How do I cope? Mad skills, therapy, medications, walking tight ropes Move out the way, I'm coming through Look out the way, I'm coming through Get out the way I'm coming through, scoot out the way I'm coming through, move out the way I'm coming through, look out the way I'm coming through, get out the way I'm coming through, scoot out the way I'm coming through I've been mad for way too long I'm clearing my mind and moving along Looking back, anger's all I see Time to turn this around with positivity To make this world a better place for you and me
me Stop focusing on the negatives that be There's so much light that surrounds me Let me shine bright, darkness let go of thee You've held on for way too long Now is the time to sing good songs I wanna help bring people together To unite peacefully with each other This is my goal, this is my vision Shining bright, displaying through a prism I'm incorporating life into this rhythm Delivering it to you like a carrier pigeon Move out the way, I'm coming through Look out the way, I'm coming through Get out the way, I'm coming through Scoop out the way, I'm coming through Move out the way, I'm coming through Look out the way, I'm coming through Get out the way, I'm coming through Scoop out the way, I'm coming through Move out the way, I'm coming right through Like a blade in the dark with the light shining true Negativity, your targets in my view Like the voices with light, I dominate you You cannot stop me with the light I bear In the darkness, my whole life exhaustedly scared Anxiety, panic attacks every single day You will not control me, never, no way My ghost found the peace within me Now clearly my eyes can see Why the darkness has chosen me A broken child with a soul for free You cannot have my soul, listen what I say With the light forever is here to stay My soul is glowing white from dark gray Straying from the light, never again, no way Okay, first off, two things. That's gonna get stuck in my head. <laughs> same, same here, man. Right, right. Same. I'm gonna be walking around the rest of the day with that hook in These my head. These lyrics really grab you. Yeah. But it's also um, a very unique and cool way to deal with with what he with his mental illness, and I I applaud him for that because it brings joy to all of us. There were lots in the in the lyrics there that are it's like raw and real. Like so, uh, talk about the place where that song came from. Uh, that just I don't really think about the songs too much when I write. Mm -hmm. Um, they just either I'll hear the lyrics in the uh, melody, like move out the way. Like when I heard the bass, I heard that. Right. So I write that down and. And I just start hearing it in my head, and like when I was younger, at, when I was 19, 20, working at McDonald's, they they're really good about it because they knew I liked to write music and it helped me. So I'd be doing, I was maintenance, so I could just go in and write some lyrics down real quick, go back mm -hmm. to what I was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, that helped me out a lot doing that. And basically, it just comes to me, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't really think too much about what I'm going to write. I just put the beat on and it comes to me. Are you are you are you ever surprised after you after you write, after you record and you listen to a song? Yeah, I'm very surprised at it. Yeah, I'm like, wow, I did this? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is really good. And then I bring it in here and everyone's like, this is really good, Shane, you know, and it gives me a lot of self confidence. Yeah. And uh, they say that my second album I'm working on now, you could hear more uh, confidence in it because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at first this is a lot different than the stuff I used to write about you know yeah because uh, I so? used How to so? uh, I used to write just to get the the, the, the voices and the bad thoughts out of me uh -huh. so it was more darker stuff sure you know and I'm not too proud of all that but I had to go through that to get here and now I'm actually making good songs and people enjoy it more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever written, recorded a song, and then listened to it, and, and, and heard what you, you, you'd written, and then learned something unexpected about Ex yourself? Yes, definitely. That's something I was talking about in therapy, is uh, things go on in my life, and somehow I, I, I'm writing, and it'll come out, and I'm like, whoa, you know, <laughs> that'll make me think about it, you know, and then I'll change the lyrics around and everything. Yeah. But so what do you ladies think about, uh, about that track specifically, about that? Uh, it's great. He has a good white voice. I can hear all the words he's saying, and I said, oh, that's it, that's the beat. <laughs> now, you won't be able to see this on, on an audio file, but she was really grooving with that right there. She was uh, giving us a visual illustration. High five on that. <laughs> you can hear more of the music of Shane McCullough in regular rotation on KFUG Community Radio. Got my head right with the sun shining bright. Nothing to complain about, I'm feeling all right. Wings are spread, ready to take flight. Okay. So this is another point for me to get Pixie back here too. After our impromptu listening session in the conference room, 
Gloria shows me around the service center, the different rooms for groups or art or just getting away from all the stimuli. As we walk the halls, Gloria checks in with patients, makes plans to give a couple of them rides home. She exudes a sort of mom vibe, and I can tell all the clients in the service center look to her for more than the classes and field trips. Gloria offers connection, and that connection is animated by her genuine care for each of the people who come each day to the service center. Hang on, hon. I'll take you home in a little bit, okay? Give me, give me just a few minutes. We find a table in an unused Thank room, you, and Gloria gives me a pamphlet outlining what the center does. I read from the list of services. So I'm seeing like like expressive art and life skills, and and the folks mentioned both of that the, the stress group, interactive exercise. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So when shopping, shopping, mm-hmm. yes, because you know sometimes people are not accepted or they're laughed at or you know, and you know that as well as I do, and so it, part of you know depending on the level of mental illness you have sometimes you're not you don't have the insight to buy the proper food or you're just too insecure to be in you know a place that's open and social and all that yeah, so yeah, and overstimulating and right kind of yeah. and life skills we go over um how you create a menu um how you create a budget how you create what you're going to do for the day do you have goals because that's going to help you overall in life. Stress management, it's a little bit different, but you know, we all have stresses, stressors in our life. So that's a group where you can come in and you can talk about what's stressing you. You get peer support in that group. You know, it's what would help one might help another. So we encourage everybody to interact in that group. So it's, it's really building peer support. Mm-hmm. And that way, if they're having a bad day, they can call one another. And that's something we really encourage here is peer support. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a family that maybe you don't have that, you know, it's not always always blood, so they have it. They have that that little network, that security. I got that feeling in the room there too. Yeah, yeah. And they can be themselves Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here, which is really, really important. Um, If, you know, can you, I, I personally cannot imagine, I've been doing, I've been, working here with the agency for 19 years. So, um, I can't ima- I, the what they go through, the clients, and just doing what they do. You know, it's, my heart goes out to them, and the struggles, and it's like, wow. You know, I don't think people are aware of, you know, just to get up and, and something as simple as getting up, getting dressed, and going somewhere, which is really simple for, most people can be you know major event it can be exactly yeah like your day's challenge can it be very very yeah. very yeah. very challenge do you find and i don't want to i just want to take up too much of your time no it's all right paul I li- 19 years doing this right 19 mm-hmm. years in this in mm-hmm. this this sector have have you seen uh, <sighs> The societal attitudes toward mental illness, mental health in general, I guess, has that changed or is it changing? Or are we are we where we were 20 years ago? We've changed somewhat. Um, there are still people that I, 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 they shun the mentally ill. Um, and being mentally ill, there's a, Sometimes it blurs over into addiction, you know, you're self-medicating. Um, but it, it has changed some, but I feel that the system is somewhat broken um, as far as folks getting help. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes events have to happen in order for them to get the help. Yes, yeah, so some sort of trauma has yeah, to ensue. Yeah, yeah. And, so, you know, I've talked to people... And over the years, and they'd say, well, how, you know, how could this be happening? How can they be, you know, they're not hearing this. They're not mentally ill. How can they be hearing these voices? And it's like, yes, yes, they are. Yes, it's very, very real. And I think part of the stigma is it's not something, an illness that you can see. It's not, you know, you've got, you've got a cut and you can put a Band-Aid on it and you can heal it. It is something that's unknown. They're still being, you know, 
tests being done and, you know, advances in, in science as far as, you know, treating the mentally ill. Mm-hmm. But I think it's the, the fear of the unknown. It's like, well, you can't see it. You're not coughing. You don't have blood. You're not, you know, so how do you fix it? Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I think that's part of the stigma there. It's something you can't see. You can't, you and I can't, well, we don't see people coming towards us that aren't there. We don't hear the voices in our, in our heads. And I know that's hard for some for people to understand, but it really does happen. So you just said before that the, the, the system is broken, and I know this is a very big question, but how is the system broken in your experience? I don't think that there are enough facilities open to help people. Mm-hmm. Um, if you can't function, um, you're gravely disabled. It's hard for you to be, uh, you know, to keep your own home and to do your own grocery shopping. And some people do very well in a controlled environment. And, and I think that we need more facilities to be open so people have a better quality of life. And it's just not for those that are conserved, but, you know, and, and that is a pipe dream, I, I would suppose, because it takes a lot to open up a facility and make mm-hmm. it to where people, you know, long term, yeah. you know, not sh- put a Band-Aid on this or, you know, give them some medication and set them out. It's not that easy. Mm-hmm. Some folks just, they need that long term care and for however long it is, because then they have a better quality of life. And right now, what we're doing, and this is just not our agency, but throughout the United States, um, and I'll speak for California, you, you have somebody that's mentally ill, they can't take care of themselves, they're suicidal or they're homicidal or they're just, you know, they can't make it, they're gravely disabled. We take, we put them in facilities and we hope that they are better within three days or a week. Right, right. So you're given a medication they come out and it takes more than just medication. You need therapy, what's bothering you? How can you, how can you fix this and cope with what's triggering you? And so I think that's some of the, you know, I think we need, it's, it's more than just medication. You need hands on, on care, you know, with a therapist and then also perhaps long-term. How many, how many people do you, do you help here? Oh goodness. I would say we probably have, 25 people that come in and out of here on a regular basis and that's not counting the people that come in for dbt group or the dual diagnosis group mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and that's i think we need to have more of of that too because dual diagnosis having a mental illness and then substance abuse is is um it's quite common yeah and there are some people that won't come out and and say i have a mental illness they would rather self-medicate and that doesn't always work it can it it can cause a real problem are you coordinated at all with the groups like open door offers no okay. they're totally they're totally separate, separate. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow okay mm-hmm. okay some of our folks that used to work here now work there right right so which is good they can carry on and do things that they used to do there or here well, yeah. over there and in the community this small too i think it helps for with clients to have that continuity at least of personal right care like that, right because they know that we all know one another right right and most of the clients here um if they see us out on the street they're going to talk to us yeah, yeah and you know that's cool yeah, yeah. why not you got to help people There was a German philosopher, famous guy, you've heard of him, who once said, you can judge the health of a society by the number of parasites it can support. Not the most compassionate phrasing, but the point remains. There will always be people who, for whatever reason, cannot contribute to the common wheel. They won't be able to write memos or cash checks or drive buses or land the airplane in case of emergency. They'll stand before seemingly common, benign situations, going to the store, cooking a meal, going to sleep at night, and be forced to face their every fear. And for this, they will be judged among the least of us. 
The support systems in place to help them are cobbled together, underfunded, and struggle for priority among the cacophony of other public policy concerns. When those systems fail, lives crumble, people are lost. When they succeed, that success almost always depends on the passion and dedication of people who care, people like Gloria. So May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Yes, it is. What would you like the community to bear in mind for the month of May? Break that stigma. You know, just because people are mentally ill doesn't mean that you have to shun them. Um, they're, they're just like you and I. You just can't see their illness. And they're, the one thing I learned when I started working here, um, because I'd never worked around the mentally ill, mm -hmm. was, and it was a client that told me this. They said, I'm mentally ill. I am not stupid. That's nice. Wow. Uh, yeah. And wow. It, it, you know, and that was probably within the first three weeks of uh -huh. working at mental health. And I always kept that in the back of my head going, okay. And also treat, treat them with kindness. You know, we, it's hard. You know, they're, sometimes you can pull it, to, they pull it together, clients will pull it together, and then they just kind of melt away if they're having a bad day. Mm -hmm. um, I know that when we see them in our main facility, which is K Street, um, just think of how hard it would be to walk in and say, this is happening to me. I'm hearing voices, um, my mood swings are bad, I want to hurt myself. Um, and so treat, treat people with mental illness like, you, it, like it would be your family member. You know, don't, don't shun them. Mm -hmm. so. Treat them like you can see the illness. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Spirits everywhere. They're here all around me. Surrounding me, their time is now. Thanks to Joel, Aaliyah, Shane, and all the other clients at the service center who shared their stories. And a special thanks to Gloria Crow Boberts for inviting us in and giving us a chance to see all the good things happening every day in a quiet, nondescript building behind a gas station on the edge of town. For KFUG Community Radio, I'm Paul Kritz. My mental prison has lasted for years Waking up from voices, screaming in tears Bad dreams haunting me, reliving all fears Envisioning my life when the smoke clears A man at peace, just enjoying the day Lessons I learn through rhymes I convey Realizations are causing dismay Positives are now starting to outweigh The spirits are here with me leading the way The spirits are here with me every day The spirits are living inside me, hey The spirits watch me, listen what I say The spirits are here with me leading the way The spirits are here with me every day The spirits are living inside me, hey The spirits watch me, listen what I say Thinking about decades of wasted time Reminds me of wind blowing through some chimes So many days writing rhyme after rhyme Made it this far, still have miles to climb Storm clouds above me are burning away Seeing a bright future, not a doomsday These messages through my songs I relay Time to take action, not sit there and pray Standing up straight, gotta do this for me Showing everyone my abilities Thinking about the possibilities Using all of my capabilities To make it through, there's so much to gain All of this excitement, it's hard to contain One with the spirits is how I remain Nope, no way, it's too hard to constrain The spirits are here with me leading the way The spirits are here with me every day The spirits are living inside me, hey The spirits watch me, listen what I say the spirits are here with me leading the way The spirits are here with me every day The spirits are living inside me, hey The spirits watch me, listen what I say Sitting here fighting through day after day A better life, there's gotta be a way Tired of waking up feeling this way These changes to my life, they start today Going
going to therapy, taking my meds Learn about symptoms, they're not in my head Undo all the stigmas that people spread The sun will rise and we'll try again Nothing can stop me, look I'm so proud I made it this far, somehow don't know how Thank you very much, these get you in Tao Look, the air to shine is upon me now Clear and clear, my vision is here Blinded me like headlights due to a deer Feel your presence whispering in my ear Thank you for your help through this last year